on Utah's CW30. Welcome back. Salt Lake Community College is celebrating Juneteenth this month with, with a list of events and activities. Joining us this evening is Jury Harwell, who is chair of the Department of English, Linguistics and Writing Studies. Jury, thanks for being with us today. I want to start with this. Juneteenth has been celebrated for decades, but never an official holiday in Utah until just a few months ago. What does this mean for you and the students at Salt Lake Community? It's an exciting point in history. Juneteenth historically has been been celebrated since 1865-66. It's been celebrated for decades here in Utah. Now that it's a federal holiday and a state holiday, this is the first official celebration at Salt Lake Community College. First official celebration. So what does that look like? How are students and faculty celebrating? We will be celebrating on Wednesday the 22nd by having uh, a program. Robert Sims, who is a baritone uh, soloist from Chicago, our poet laureate, Dr. Deidre Tyler, the Copper Hills High cultural dancers, and Marion Howe Taylor will recite the Black National Anthem, mm. Lift Every Voice and Sing, to familiarize the community with these aspects of Juneteenth. With that in mind, uh, obviously you want as many people to come as possible. Is it open to surrounding communities and the general public? Yes, absolutely. Anyone can come. Juneteenth is celebrated by anyone and everyone. So yes, it's open to the SLCC community and the Utah community at large. I think one of the more important questions that we can get to as well is the key messages. So for the community, not even at Salt Lake Community, but what does the community need to know about Juneteenth and these celebrations? Juneteenth, the name is a shortened um, version of June 19th, commemorating when the military came into Galveston Island in Texas and informed the slaves that as per the Emancipation Proclamation, they had been freed for quite a while, but uh, no one told them. And so Juneteenth, in essence, marks the end of slavery in the United States. The slaves on Galveston Island were among the last to learn. So it's one part, just one part of diversity here within the United States in the African-American community. Uh, two things left for you. We know Governor Cox just signed that bill just a few months ago to make it an official state holiday. Uh, that day or this month, you know, what does it mean to you and um, your colleagues at Salt Lake Community College as well? It means recognition, recognition of our history, of course, of the diversity. And just besides the African-American community, we celebrate numerous communities at Salt Lake Community College. So now we get to add this part of diversity to our celebrations. With that diversity in mind, where can people go to learn more about these events? slcc.edu slash Juneteenth. All right, thank you very much, Jerry. Again, that thank was Jerry Harwell from Salt Lake Community College. Joining us with the information about Juneteenth, once again, the event happens next Wednesday, June 22nd. All of this info is right there on your screen. Coming up, new concerns 